We have breaking news to start this hour here. San Diego County Board of Supervisors demanding Supervisor Nathan Fletcher resign immediately. Thank you for joining us. It is now 1101. I'm Vanda Iranpour. And I'm Chris Crow filling in for Eric Connor. This all comes after the County Board of Supervisors just held a vote of no confidence. CBS 8's Kelly Hessedal was at that meeting for the vote. You're joining us live now. Kelly, what have you learned from both the board but also those in attendance? Well, that's right. The vote was unanimous with all four supervisors uh, in agreement that Nathan Fletcher should resign immediately now uh, rather that is rather than waiting until that May 15th deadline that he gave. Now there was a, a lot of public comment this morning. There were about 31 speakers uh, who talked in person as well as on the phone as well as uh, 100 comments that the county received. Go ahead and take a listen to some of what we heard. We do need to move on. And those of us who were in District 4, I don't know how many people were speaking for District 4, but there's nobody from District 4 sitting up at this group. There's nobody here from District 4 because he chooses himself over his family. There's nobody here from District 4 because he chooses himself over all of you. There's nobody here from District 4 because he chooses himself over everyone out here. There's nobody here from District 4 because he chooses himself over everyone in the county. Politicians use their military service and clout and sure, why not? We're supposed to have integrity first, service before self, and excellence in all that we do. And sometimes there's exceptions. Sometimes dirtbags somehow make it. Today's uh, vote of no confidence for Fletcher does not mean he must step down, but it is meant to put pressure on him. Uh, the question is, will it make a difference? And that is unclear. I reached out to Fletcher's office again today. A spokesperson for Fletcher again told me uh, that he cannot respond at this time because he is undergoing treatment for PTSD and alcohol abuse, uh, though it's unclear exactly where that treatment is happening. All we've been told is that it is out of state. Now, more than one supervisor uh, made the point to remind the public that they do not have the authority to remove Fletcher from office. Uh, the only way he can be removed is, is if he resigns or if there is a recall election. And a recall election could take months. So for right now, despite everything, uh, Nathan Fletcher is still collecting his $200,000 a year salary. He can still technically vote on key issues. And both Desmond and Lawson Reamer said today that they do not think that Fletcher should be allowed to vote. So back out here live, uh, there was one person who called in uh, in support of Nathan Fletcher saying we just don't know enough about the facts. Uh, to call for him to step down. Uh, we also heard from about a half a dozen people who say when it comes to uh, choosing Fletcher's replacement, they believe there should be a special election held rather than the board appointing someone. Now, we do know that that special election carries a price tag of about $4 million. Kelly Hassett, CBS 8.